What up, it's your girl Raven the Blazing Eurasian, and I'm representing BrooklynBodega.com, the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, Brooklyn Bodega TV, Brooklyn Bodega, everything, all things Brooklyn, even though today we are in Manhattan. We're here with, and I gotta say this, the mighty star. Okay. Okay, and I gotta say that because, you know, being a, a media personality myself, you know, kind of, you have to do your homework. You gotta, okay. you gotta see who's doing what, how they're doing their thing, you know, and I feel that from the beginning, you're not one for performance. You're one to just kind of get on the mic, get in front of the, you know, the camera and just, just be yourself. Is this correct or is there a performance aspect to what you do? Well, to some degree. Okay. I do prepare. Okay. I prepare <clears throat> very strategically mm -hmm. before I touch the microphone because I take what I do very serious. Um, I wouldn't say I perform in terms of, um, you know, uh, uh, being something that I'm not, mm -hmm. but I do uh, take note to the fact that people uh, respect my swag. So uh, I do try to entertain within being who I am. I mean, you've been doing radio. You now have your own show that is basically broadcasted on. I mean, I, w I sat in on a, on a meeting here, right, right. you know, and there were like another like five to ten, you know, sites that are, that are buying you up. Now explain what are you trying to do? Because, well, you know, th they are they are joining the journey. Okay. You know, magnificent journey that it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get it fucked up. <laughs> um, I own the brand, you know, I'm the sole proprietor of the Star and Buckwild brand, but I am um, very excited about, about what we're doing right now because it has more of the visual component to the Star and Buckwild brand, which is what I initially tried to do with the brand back in 1999 which is the reason why I, I got us on MTV Networks to host a show. And then we, 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 we got off into terrestrial radio, you know, which is cool. And I appreciate all the support you people have shown us over the years. But the visual aspect of Star and Buckwild is really where I've always wanted this brand to be. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm excited about the Internet. This is public access television magnified thousand times let's yeah. talk about because i wanted to know i want to know about you and buckwild how did this yeah. begin was it two you know little boys in the in the in the area just started chilling together and you know one guy said hey no no that sounds like some homo a little bit no. yeah Trying to, i was testing you, you know buckwild <laughs> buckwild may or may not be my stepbrother okay we don't know for certain and who gives a shit? okay but um um i lived in brooklyn since the early 80s uh, and I've moved around Brooklyn for a lot of years. I wound up on St. John's and Nostrand in the early 90s. Buck Wild, uh, by way of family, started coming to the arcade slash weed spot that I used to run. Nice. He was playing hooky with his friends, and they used to break into my, my machines, my arcade machines. Somehow, uh, between choking a couple of his friends... And 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 um, j just you know circumstances that 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 really got out of control. I let them run the arcade for a couple of weeks, so the uh, the chemistry started developing, and uh, I think many people know the story. Um, I started writing for the Source magazine. I then brought Buck Wild in to be the visual component of the the, the pen name Buck Wild, and the rest is history. I've watched yeah. the show. I see that you have, you know, everyone from, you know, musical artists as well as models, you know, and just various people. What, uh, what, I mean, how, what kind of people do you want on your show? Because obviously you, you have enough knowledge that you, like you said, you've seen some of these artists perform, so you reserve the right to uh, critique them. But what are you looking for as far as the artists you bring to your show now? Well, Star and Buck Wild, we are going down the, 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 the urban path of what Ryan Seacrest is doing. Okay. As I told you once upon a time, we're not selling out, we sold out a long time ago. Okay. We're here to get paid. Um, so we are, we are entertaining those who are on the come up. If you're old school, I can't say that I so much want to talk to you. You've had your run. Right. If you smoked up your money, if you sniffed up your money, thank you, but get the <laughs> f out of the way. Okay. It's about the new generation now. So you see a lot of young guns coming through the show. Young cats with swagger, and I want to. I want to look in their eyes. I want to hear what they are bringing to the table. I want to talk to the 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 kid cuddies. I want to talk to the the young 
the young guys who people may or may not think are are relevant, but clearly have something to say in the game. You, you talked about how you back in the day you had, you know, you were doing MTV, then you went and did, you know, radio, and now you got yeah. this going on, and obviously this is broadcasted on yeah. on the web. Are you looking to do television again? Yes, we are in high pursuit okay. of vehicles that will provide what we feel we can bring to the table and to the forefront of this culture. I've spoken about this on many, many occasions. We're looking for the young producers, the young directors to get the brand and reposition the brand to do films like Abbott and Costello, Cheech and Chong, Howling Kumar. You know, this is where I have always wanted to take the brand uh, before getting sidetracked into the world of radio. Um, so, so that's very important. That's where we are headed. That's um, that's still the objective, and 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 that's where you will know us. Do you feel there's any misconception? I mean, obviously, you know, you, like I said, you guys, you're very real. You know, whether it be in front of the camera, off, you know, off the uh, the mic or not, you seem right. like a real person. You just this is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Is there anything about your brand that you think that people that people tend to assume that they're they're more or less incorrect? There's many things out there that people may have in terms of a, of a misconception of Star and Buck Wild, and I just don't give a sh about your misconceptions. Mm -hmm. I'm here with the flies in the ointment, and I'm a fucking problem, and you have to deal with me. Okay, is there something that you want them to know about you? Like, definitely, definitely, 100%, they are correct if they think this about you? Well, I am determined. I'm a businessman, and I want you to know that if you are looking to to politic business holler at me we could be friends <laughs> that, that's that's the end that's the end. that's that's how you get in with star you want to do business he loves yeah. you for, he loves you for holler the yeah me. there you go once again thank you for the, taking the time thank out you. all right the mighty star you go raven the blazing eurasian we represent brooklyn bodega and we out <laughs>